Hello, I'm Rick McCrabb from Cox First Media here today talking about In Your Prime. Today's subject is Pickleball with Kim from the YMCA. Kim, if you can, just talk a little bit about what is pickleball. I know it's one of the fastest growing sports in America. Yeah, so pickleball is very similar to if you were to cross badminton, tennis, uh, and a little bit of ping pong. So when we first describe it to members who have no idea what it is, I would say it's kind of like if you were to take a ping pong table and set it down on the ground and you were playing on top of a giant ping pong table. When you look at pickleball right now, I mean, it's just, it's, it's exploding, you know, not only in Ohio, but, but around, you know, all of America. It was interesting. Uh, a couple of days ago, I was watching on TV and they, they had, they brought in some tennis players. They brought in John McEnroe and they had, they had, had like a celebrity tournament of pickleball. Um, why do you think, why do you think it's so popular right now? It's one of the fastest growing sports in the country right now. I think one of the reasons that it's gaining popularity is you could be a very fit, younger person. Um, you could be an older individual and you could be fairly evenly matched. It doesn't necessarily have to be your age that matches you up to an opponent. I know that we have a lot of different senior tournaments, but sometimes in the Y we'll have an anybody can play tournament and I'll be matched up with somebody who's in their 60s or 70s and they are much better than me. If you can, Kim, talk a little bit, little bit about what equipment is needed to play pickleball. So you need a pickleball court uh, and a net. It depends on where you are. Usually those are provided at whatever location you're playing pickleball at. Uh, you'd also need a paddle and a ball and some other friends to play with. Is a paddle different than a tennis racket and is a pickleball different than a tennis ball or a wiffle ball? Yeah, uh, the paddles can be made out of different kinds of materials, but if you see here, it's just, it's a flat surface, so it's different than a tennis racket. It's not wiring or anything like that, and it's a lot smaller. And then a pickleball uh, is a specified size and weight, and there are different types for indoor and outdoor play. Um, it's a little bit sturdier than a wiffle ball would be. One thing that I've noticed is the fact that it looks like a lot of the tennis courts that have been unused for years are being converted to pickleball courts. Is that something that you're also seeing in our region? Yeah, I, or places are going out and building specific pickleball courts for people to play outside. And a lot of places that have gymnasium space are adding pickleball courts to their gym floor. When, when I go by and, I, and I'm watching people play pickleball from afar, it looks like four people pretty much standing around a court, just having in these volleys with, with a pickleball. But then when you get closer to it and you see all the exercise that they're doing, you're using a lot of energy to play pickleball. Oh yeah, they definitely will come off very, very sweaty. <laughs> so uh, in pickleball, you are doing short bursts of cardiovascular exercise. So you might have to run three feet to grab a ball, but it's not like if you were going out for a three mile jog or something like that. But a game of pickleball or a few games of pickleball, you're more likely to burn more calories because of those short bursts of high energy than if you were to go on a 30 minute walk. When, when we talk about uh, pickleball, and exercise. It seemed like this is exactly what we're wanting seniors to do, right? It's these short bursts of energy. Yeah, absolutely. It's a really good way to get low impact, but high intensity cardiovascular exercise. It's very good for your health. Uh, when you get older, you definitely need to watch your cholesterol, your blood pressure. Um, it's just good to stay moving. As far as pickleball and seniors, are, are there any things that we need to be concerned about as far as as far as health risk are concerned? So you definitely wanna make sure with your doctor before you take up any new activities, uh, just verify with them, do you think I'd be good to play some pickleball? And most of the time they're gonna say yes. Yeah. Um, they might give you some restrictions on the intensity level at which you're gonna play, but you just wanna watch out for slips, trips, and falls. Uh, most courts are kept pretty clear, uh, but just spot those prior to playing so that you know what to look out for. For a long time in my life, I played tennis. Is that gonna make the, the transition from tennis to pickleball for me or, or anybody out there, is that gonna make it easier? I think that playing any kind of racket sport where you have to use a lot of hand-eye coordination, you might have an easier time picking pickleball up. Uh, you will notice a difference in uh, how hard you have to hit the ball. You're gonna hit it a lot softer than you would if you were playing tennis. And that can be 
it can catch you off guard. You're gonna say, wow, I was really strong today when you hit the ball way off the court. We always talk about fitness, 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 but really another important part is being just the socialization. Uh, if I'm a first time player at the YMCA and I walk in, am I gonna be welcomed as far as, hey, this is Rick, let's show Rick how to play the game of, of uh, pickleball. Oh yes, I don't know if I can speak to every place you might play pickleball, but I know at a lot of our YMCAs, the pickleball community is its own little group and they love telling anybody who wants to come try all about how great this sport is and they definitely want to encourage a lot of new players to come. So if you just show up and say, I'm new, what do I do? Plenty of members will be there to help you get started. Yeah, it's interesting. There are uh, numerous courts down in Middletown uh, and I know every Wednesday night they have what they call, you know, free lessons. So you, do, you just kind of you just kind of show up on Wednesday. Uh, they have paddles and they have balls and they just kind of introduce you to the sport. So like you said, it's a community that, that really embraces other and new players. Yeah. Coming off of, of COVID-19 where a lot of us were kind of isolated and we were stuck in our homes. Can you just talk about the importance of, of socialization, getting out and interacting with like people, enjoying Pickleball. Yeah, so uh, depression is something that we're always concerned about. Um, when we're looking at older adults, especially just because they're maybe not doing the same activities that they've always done before. So it can definitely help battle depression. Just starting a new hobby uh, can stimulate your mind. It's also really good for former athletes. I know that once you get kind of past that age where you're a competitive athlete, you might be looking for something to train for to get your exercise in. I know that personally, if you just say, you just need to stay in shape and I don't have anything that I'm working towards, it's a lot harder. So uh, playing pickleball is a great way to keep yourself in shape while training for a tournament or just pick up play that you might find on a court somewhere. Right, and just the, the fact of getting out with, with other people, you know, even, even if it doesn't have to be competitive, just socialization. And then if you know that you're gonna play pickleball, at nine o'clock on Wednesday, on Tuesday night, you're, you're looking forward to, to Wednesday morning playing pickleball with your with your buddies. Absolutely, they always have something to look forward to. Uh, we have pickleball at all of our traditional branches, so that is the branches that have gymnasiums built inside of them. Uh, and there's, if you look in the Dayton area, just in the YMCA's, there's usually pickleball at least Monday through Saturday going on somewhere. So someone always has an opportunity to look forward to that. You know, when you talk about someone being 55 and older, I mean, do you think pickleball is a sport for just that age group or do you think it's also attractive for the younger people also? I think it's attractive for pretty much any age range. You could start playing pickleball. It's gonna really improve your hand-eye coordination, your cardiovascular health. Uh, it's gonna stimulate your brain mentally. So I think anybody can benefit from it and even maybe an athlete in their off season as part of cross training, playing a little bit of pickleball just to keep their cardiovascular endurance up uh, and a fun activity for them to do. So I think it could be for anybody. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's a sport um, that, you know, traditionally is played outdoors, but then in the winter, you know, because the, you know, the YMCA, the facilities there, you then can, it's, it's a sport that you can play 12 months a year, which is, I think would be really important as far as physical and mental activity. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So there's a difference in the type of ball you would use for indoor and outdoor play, uh, and you inside don't have to compensate for things like wind or glare, but yeah, you're able to play year round. Does the wind, impact the flight of the ball? Yes. <laughs> So we will we will host tournaments sometimes as a YMCA where we we have one facility that has indoor courts and outdoor courts and to get through all of the players in the day you might have some games inside and some games outside and that is a challenge that they are constantly overcoming uh, is just the difference in going from indoor play to outdoor play. Just because basically because of the wind. The wind has an effect on the way the ball spins, bounces, uh, where it goes. Yeah. Sounds a little bit like golf. Yes. As far as, you know, just try, trying to uh, compensate for the win. Yeah. Just that's another way it can mentally stimulate your brain. You're going to have to be thinking about things like that before you hit the ball. So let's say, uh, Kim, you know, I show up to YMCA to play pickleball and, and I want to play doubles, but I don't have a partner on this particular day. How does that work? 
Yeah, so they, at least at our facility, I know that they'll they'll gather up and they'll say, we need one more to play. So you might be meeting your partner for the first time, which is a great way to go out and meet new people. Now, if you're in tournament play or something like that, you're likely going to know the person that you enter that tournament with. But for pickup play, it's a great way to, to meet new friends and then find your next partner if you are going to enter a tournament. Right, you know, like, like we were talking about just the socialization you know, of going out and all of a sudden, you know, you're playing pickleball for, let's say, two hours. In that two hours, you may meet, you know, 10, 15, 20 people. Yeah. And then and then after, you know, the match is over, you may then, let's, let's, let's stay at the YMCA or, or let's go out and have coffee or let's have breakfast or lunch. So again, socialization yeah. of, of, for seniors is very important. Absolutely. They've made so many friends. So Kim, after all this conversation at Pickleball, I mean, I'm ready to go play, you know what I mean? Yeah. So let's say uh, someone else is out there and, and they want to play. Besides, obviously, we, we can uh, talk to the YMCA. Are there other options for those of us who are now want to be introduced to Pickleball? Oh, absolutely. So most area rec centers that have gymnasiums are adding pickleball courts to their gyms. A lot of parks and recs uh, are adding them to different park locations or converting tennis courts like you talked about. So uh, your local parks and recreation website, a YMCA website, a rec center website, those are all good places to check for schedules for pickleball. So Kim, now I'm, I'm excited, I wanna go play. Uh, obviously I have to have equipment. So can you just talk a little bit about the cost of what it's gonna cost me to, to start playing pickleball? Right. So most sports equipment has a range and pickleball equipment definitely does too. But if you're just a beginner, you could go out and pick up a racket for probably around $20, um, pick up a pack of balls for around $20, and then show up to a court ready to play. Ready to play. Uh, if you're going to a location like a YMCA or a rec center, there's usually something there for the beginners to use just to test it out. So I know at our facilities, we usually have a couple extra paddles and definitely plenty of pickleballs for beginners to play with. For a sport, it's relatively inexpensive. I mean, I'm not spending $900 for a set of golf clubs. Right, it's it's definitely cheaper than a lot of sports out there to get started with. I'm uh, Rick McCrabb again from Cox First Media today talking uh, to Kim for In Your Prime about uh, pickleball. Kim, it's been great talking to you today. Yeah, thanks for having me.